Hello, this is Kinkader here, and welcome back to Spawner Science. Um, today, we're mostly going to be experimenting with everyone's favourite tool, lava. So, let's begin, shall we? We'll begin by just quickly showing off something that now actually works. The skeleton cannon. <coughs> Admittedly, I might have toned the power down a little too much, but the problem was... Um, that I had toned the power up high enough that Minecraft just reverted it to zero. Um, so it wasn't really working very well in the said direction. We'll turn that off now because otherwise it will only last the rest of today. Yeah. Simple enough. On to the more fun stuff. You might recognise this. This used to be full of zombies and water. And now, however... We've got a more fun idea. Come on, spawner. Come on. Oh, wait, it's day. Derp. Now, if I sit here and turn it off, they get mad at me and shoot me well from in lava, so I can't really run up and hit them with swords. Pretty simple. They can go away now. Okay. So next. I'd like you to imagine you're playing Blight Castle, and you're in the real Blight Castle. I probably could have built this to slightly better specifications. It does look slightly retarded at the moment. But but that's fine, that's fine. I built it in like 10 minutes. I'm sure Thanduin can build it better. Fairness, I'm sure I can build it better, but that's beside the point. Um, I'm going to get away from these creepers. And I'm going to put myself into survival. <coughs> and I'm just going to casually stroll on through. As you can see, the arrow dispensers have all gone. So there's absolutely no way I could be hurt. What? 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 Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that, there we go. We don't need silly little arrow dispensers, which are, to be honest, far too predictable. And will only fire straight ahead. You can't really aim them at a player. Now, that's no longer a problem. What the problem is, is that I've lost, lost where I left everything. Hmm... Now, I'll just keep talking while I look. Now, I can instead have skeletons shoot at you. Ah, it's just one sec. Now, the skeletons will just simply fly up with the motion from a bedrock encased spawner down below. Aha! And they'll fly up and they'll shoot you. And because they can aim, they'll be much better shots than the dispenser and much, much more dangerous. And what's more, there, ne there never needs to be any trace they were here. Just to prove to you the bedrock box does exist. Just here somewhere. Here we go. I couldn't be bothered to make the whole box bedrock uh, because it was under lava. I'm sure it's not too difficult to just turn everything to bedrock. Um, yeah, this one fires up skellies on... Oh, hello. This side. And, of course, they're fire resistant. So they land and they can still keep shooting you. If you want. I. If you, ha if you want them disposable, you're going to have to make them land in the lava and just die and burn. Or if you want, you can just have them sit here 
<laughs> shoot you repeatedly and make your life an absolute misery. I think the Blight Castle actually has some walls, not walls, uh, gaps here-ish. And the bath is slightly wider. But the idea, he responds. So, Thadwin, I know you're subscribed to me. I know you watch these. I'll let you have some fun with that. And I'll be honest, I'm sure someone like Vex could have some fun as well. Oh, seeing this. Um, go away, traitor. You're a very nice cat, but go away. I'm sure that you don't really need the schematic for these, which is why I haven't included it. Um, put simply, a, bed a bedrock box with a redstone lamp and a knot gate is not the most difficult thing to configure. And to be honest, actually, it's probably more work for you to put the schematic in than to build one to specification. So I'll leave that all to you. Um, I think that's all for me for now. I do have some more ideas which I will experiment with as and when, um, but at the moment they are highly experimental, so I'll leave them. And they'll also take me a long time to build, and I'm working for most of this week, so don't expect too much. Um, if I get any shorter, more easily accessible ideas, I'll let you know. So this is Kinkada signing out and saying, sayonara.